you go into hyperflexion and we have pain. Out. So the first thing we're going to do is move him into a neutral position. I just move him up. And he's got to stay there. I noticed that you guys lost those positions when you were taping the great toe for the bunion. So when you move him into that, they need to hold that place and concentrate. Hold it. Okay, got it? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to find the ouch point. Ouch, he says. That's how far I go. So I've now engaged the tissue. It hurts. So I'm going to cheat back up out of that pain range. So you find the ouch point. I'm going to spray the foot. You can put a midfoot anchor on if you like. You can use a non-elastic piece of tape and not close it right through the arch and just bring it like so if you wanted an anchor to make it hold better because maybe it was slipping even though you were using the sticky spray. Okay, so here we are. We want to prevent flexion. We find the ouch point. We bring it back. Hold for me right there. You got it? We'll take our one inch tape and I'm going to slide it through. I want to come out like we did the bunion. Here's our <laughs> interphalangeal joint here. I want to come out past the interphalangeal joint so I have greater control of the toe. Slide it up just like so. All right, mm -hmm. and I can come get through his toes, bring it up just like so. Hold there for me. I'm going to pin it around the foot on this edge. I'm going to ease up. If I pull it tight, it's going to cut off circulation. So it's pinned to here. I ease up the stretch. I pin it here, <coughs> the stretch out and come across. I can do a continuous piece if I want. I'm going to pin it, take the stretch out, relax it around the big toe, and you can see I relax it around the great toe. I overlap a little bit, so it's not exactly the same. I pin it here, I pin it here, I take the stretch out, and I'm, and I can finish here. I typically don't like to finish the tape at the bottom of the foot because I got to step on that and most people feel it. I'd rather finish my tape edge on the top so when they step they don't feel it. Relax your foot. Hold that place. And then I'm going to just take a cover. I don't need to cover the great toe end. I just need to cover my tape ends here. This is so thin, it's really, really comfortable for the athlete. Sometimes this peels up, this kind of tape. So if I have a concern about that, I'll put a piece of non-elastic Right, and so that doesn't peel up. And now, flex your toe. You can feel how, you can do it, but you definitely feel the resistance. There's a lot of resistance. Right, and so that prevents him going into flexion. So if you have a hyperflexed toe sprain, that means you have too much hyperflexion, too much flexion, and we're going to put the X on top. You don't have to do it continuous, you can stop. I don't typically use an anchor. But it's okay if you feel like you need that anchor. Try it out.